What to do people, Mars here with Excess Gaming. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how Netmarble is bringing out a slew of games this year. And we're just gonna talk about my top five favorite games that they're bringing out, because they are bringing about close to 20 games out this year, at least at the ones that they announced. So we're only gonna talk about the top five, my favorite ones. You might've heard of some of these games and you might not have heard of some of these games just yet. So I just wanna bring this to your attention and have these games on your radar. So the first game that I wanna talk about is Seven Deadly Sins, Origins. Now, Seven Deadly Sins Origins is the continuation of the Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross mobile game that came out a couple of years ago. The development team felt like they were being held back by the things that they were doing on Grand Cross, so they decided to go and make a whole new world for Seven Deadly Sins and for the fans of Seven Deadly Sins. Now, if you haven't seen gameplay of this game, this game looks absolutely amazing. It looks like it's going to be something new and innovative for the mobile gaming market, even though it's going to be played on all consoles so far to what they said i still think this is going to be announced as a mobile game uh one of those hybrid games like genshin impact now moving on to the second game that i wanted to talk about this one is called solo leveling it is an action rpg game based off a popular webtoon that is out now that you can read this game almost reminds me of a Devil May Cry type of series game. It looks really good. The monsters and the bad guys look amazing. The action looks like it's going to be fast and high paced with a whole bunch of combos going on. There's a lot of different characters that you're going to be able to use in this game from the Webtoon series. Me personally, I've never read the Webtoons, but I've heard great things about it. So hopefully they can transfer these great things that I heard about the Webtoon into the game. This is another hype game that a lot of people are talking about and waiting for as well. That Marble is doing big things. I also want to mention that none of these games do have a set release date just yet so when the time comes when we get release dates we will keep you guys informed on which games are coming out and when they're coming out okay now this next game might be my personal favorite by net marble coming out this year it looks really really good and it's a remake of an older game that they're bringing back to life called rf project now this game looks a lot like the game that died on consoles a couple years ago called anthem and that's not a bad thing because for me anthem was actually a really good game it just fell short with content and you know the devs not actually producing the whole real game within the time that they said they were so but yeah that's neither here or there okay that's a topic for another day but rf project just looks amazing and the things that you're going to be able to do you'll be able to use gigantic mechs fight big monsters use amazing weapons it's just a whole new world of an mmo that i haven't seen yet on a mobile game uh but i'm here for it i'm one thousand percent here for it this game is called rf projects thank you Justin. moving on to the next game so the next game is called raven orang i'm sorry if i'm butchering the name but this game is not for me because i hate souls like games and i feel like this is a souls like game it looks like elden ring it looks like dark souls and they're putting a set game like this on mobile it's going to be hardcore you're going to have to use your dodge button a lot you're going to have to learn how the mechanics of the game work it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun for people not for me because I, I know i'll get washed and trashed in this game and it's just gonna make me rage quit so if you're into those kind of souls like games then this game is going to be for you once again this game is called raven orang all right moving on now the last game that i wanted to talk about is called grand cross s so now this game is set in a post-apocalyptic world with unique character designs. The world looks amazing. The characters look amazing. The animation and combat look amazing. This game is, I don't know why people aren't talking about this game. Netmarble hasn't really promoted this game like they should be, but I'm pretty sure when they start promoting this game, a lot more people will be getting excited about this game like I am. And I wanted to put this game on your radar because I think this game is going to be absolutely amazing just by the way it looks. So I'm here for it 1000%. Once again, this game is called Grand Cross. Cross S. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to take up too much of your time. This is the top five net marble games coming out this year that I am excited for. So if you guys once again like this kind of content, go ahead and leave a like on the video because it lets us know that we're doing a great job. And don't forget to check out all the links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.